Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to upload large files to GitHub. So if you've ever used GitHub to upload files, you know that when you upload using the GitHub user interface, you can only upload 25 megabytes at a time. So if I go to this data set, so from here, if I go to add file, upload files, if I try to upload files from this system, I can only upload up to 25 megabytes at a time. If I upload files using the command line, get add, get comment, and get push using the command line, I can only upload 100 megabytes of data. So if I had a CSV file that is 100 megabytes or less, I could upload it using the command line. And if the file is 25 megabytes or less, I can upload it using the GitHub interface. But what if you have a file that is more than 100 megabytes? Naturally, you can't upload more than 100 megabytes to GitHub. For you to upload more than 100 megabytes to GitHub, you have to use something called GitHub Large File System. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. So if I go back to this data set, this data set right here is 289 megabytes. So how did I get 209 megabytes of data to GitHub? I'll show you that. So it's actually very simple. You just Google something called GitHub LFS. Just Google GitHub LFS and this will pop up GitHub large file storage system. And from here, you click on download. You have to download this first. So I'm also going to leave this link in the description of this video but the first step is to download this git launch file system and after you download it you run it all right after downloading this and then running it the next step is your command line so then you go to your command line and it doesn't really matter where you do this but just type in git lfs install and then you get this i already have it installed so it just gave me updated git hooks and git lfs initialized that's the first step and all the instructions is on this page too so it's, it's not really rocket science and of course, I'm going to share this link in the description below. So after you do git LFS install, the next step is to add the files that you want tracked. All right. So after you have downloaded git large file system, and after you have installed it, and after you run this command in your terminal and you have to run this command only once like after you've done it the first time you don't have to do it over ever again after that is done you are pretty much done setting up the basics now whenever you are working on a project and whenever you want to add stuff to github you just navigate to the folder that has the file you are trying to upload and you run this command so right here, if I wanted to add this to GitHub, so right now, this folder is not actually attached to GitHub, but if I wanted to add this to GitHub, like if I wanted to add CSV file to GitHub, all I have to do is do git LFS track. And here, I'll do dot CSV. And if I run this command, it's going to automatically track this CSV file that's about 289 megabytes. Now, I'm not actually going to run this command, 
because I don't have this folder attached to GitHub right now. I'm just using this as an example. And in the future, if you want to track um, different files, if you want to track audio files, you could be um, dot .mp4, I mean mp4, mpg, mp4. Or it could be something like an audio file. So it could be dot .wav. For example, if you have a um, wave file that's like over 100 megabytes, like I don't know why you have an audio file that's over 100 megabytes. Or if it's zip file, it could be um, dot .zip. So whatever file that you want to add to GitHub that is over 100 megabytes, you just add this here. And make sure you are doing this on the folder, on, on the directory that is attached to GitHub and the directory you're working on. So um, so just like you do git add, git commit on the directory that is attached to GitHub on the directory you're tracking, make sure that every time you're working on your project, you have to do this, okay? And once you run this command, it is going to add whatever file that is in here. To GitHub, so you don't even have to do um, this. You can specify the name of the file if you want that to. After you run this command, the next thing is to make sure you add your get attribute. So then you just type in the command get add dot get attribute, or you can just copy and paste this. <laughs> and after you type in this command, you can just click enter, and that's pretty much it. You are done. You can move on with your project and then you can do git add, git commit and git push as usual. And whatever file that you have that is over 100 megabytes that you've added using git LFS track will be uploaded to GitHub. And that's basically how I was able to get this data set that's over 100 megabytes onto GitHub. Now that you've learned an easy way to add files over 100 megabytes to GitHub, I'm going to have to warn you about something. You have to be, I don't know how to describe it, careful, I guess. So basically, this is free. Like whenever you are adding files over 100 megabytes to GitHub, it's free up to a certain limit. And I didn't know this, I found it about it the hard way, okay? So basically with GitHub LFS system, you get one gigabyte of storage. And so far I've used 0 0.5 out of my one gigabyte of storage. And you get one gigabyte a month of bandwidth. This basically means that if you run a command like pandas read CSV, and you are reading a CSV file that is uploaded using the GitHub LFS system. That counts against your bandwidth. And you only get about 1 gigabyte of bandwidth per month. And if you want to use more than 1 gigabyte of bandwidth per month, you have to pay GitHub $5 a month. And with $5 a month, you get 50 gigabytes of bandwidth. Per month and you get 50 gigabytes of storage per month so that's something you have to be aware of like I didn't know this until I was working on a project you know the hacker news project and I kept um, running my CSV file until I get a mail I got email from github saying that hey you've um, used too much bandwidth this month and you have to pay us for you to keep using github lfs system and i didn't pay them anything <laughs> i didn't put in my card information and then i got an, another email that says my github lfs system has been suspended for this month because i use too much bandwidth i use more than my one gigabyte per month bandwidth so just be aware that yes, GitHub LFS system is free, 
but there are limits and if you want to go over that limit you have to pay github five dollars per month and if you don't pay them five dollars per month they will suspend your github lfs system lfs storage uh, access basically and i don't know what the suspension really means maybe it means i can't upload more files or it means i can't access the file that's using the github lfs I don't know what suspension means but before I got um, suspended for the month I was able to finish doing the work that I needed to do using that data set so I'm going to add this file to the comment section of this video and just to recap you download it and you run the file that you downloaded then you go to your command line, it doesn't matter in your command line, you run this. And then after you run that, um, you whenever you are working on a GitHub project, whenever you're working on any, any project and you need to upload files that's over 100 megabytes, you run this on the folder, on the directory that's you are working on and the directory that you're uploading to github and you have to do this every time for every new project and then you have to do this every time for every new project and this is only once at the beginning every new project and then you can do get add get upload get commit get upload <laughs> you have to do you can do get add get comment get push as usual and just be aware that this is your storage limit and this is your bandwidth limit unless you want to pay get her five dollars a month to so have 50 gigabytes of storage and 50 gigabytes of bandwidth this is the best way i have found to upload large files online and be able to access it for data science project i know before in the past when i tried to work with large files i'd be angry and frustrated that there wasn't an easy straightforward way to upload large files online but this github large file system is one of the best ways to upload large files online but there are limits unless you want to pay them five dollars a month <laughs> all right that's basically it for this video remember you can always visit me online at evidencen.com this is my website and this is where you read on my blog post and also if you go to machinelearningeducation.com you can get access to my free data science resources and any resources that I use in my YouTube videos or in my blog post can be found right here that's it for this video thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one bye